amazing things in Dubai you wouldn't want to miss. Regardless of how much money a country has, none of them have the futuristic sense that Dubai does. Whether it's rotating buildings or floating trains, some things are found early in Dubai, and you should know about them before you go there. Welcome back to my channel, and in this video, we will be revealing the amazing things that Dubai made possible. Be sure to like and comment in the video, and also share them with your friends or anyone who might want to try visiting this country. Ring that bell button for notification and subscribe to my channel for more. Number 1. Aladdin City Aladdin City in the realm of urban architecture, Dubai is becoming increasingly competitive. Their most recent endeavor, which they are calling Aladdin City, draws ideas from Arabian Nights as well as the timeless Disney cartoon masterpiece Aladdin, and they have already started working on it. The Daily Mail reports that the proposed development will have a total of six skyscrapers all of which will be connected to one another by moving walkways. The towers are designed to appear as though they are made out of a genie's lamp, and they gleam gold when exposed to the sunlight. The public was made aware of this project for the very first time in April of 2014, and it is rumored to contain places for both business and hotel properties. In addition to parking space that is large enough to handle 900 vehicles, the development will span a good 1,500 feet by the Dubai Creek, bringing the total amount of land covered by it up to 4,000 acres. The highest structure will be approximately 34 floors high. Due to its location in Dubai Creek, Aladdin City is much closer to the illustrious Burj Khalifa which is now the highest skyscraper in operation anywhere in the world. The structure has appeared in several high-grossing films produced in Hollywood, such as Mission Impossible, starring Tom Cruise. Number 2. Museum of the Future A museum dedicated to the future the structure is in the shape of an eye, which is meant to symbolize your outlook on the future. It has nine stories, an auditorium, a food and beverage deck, and six exhibition rooms that can show anything from climate change innovation to smart city ideas and artificial intelligence. The Museum of the Future is really located in the current day. Despite the fact that its name may sound like an oxymoron, the Museum of the Future is an institution that displays cutting-edge concepts, goods, and services, as well as those that look to the future. The Green Hill, the building, and the Empty Nest are the three primary components that make up the Museum of the Future, which can be found in the financial district of Dubai, United Arab Emirates. The Dubai Future Foundation was the organization that started it all. Number 3. Burj Khalifa Burj Khalifa it is the tallest building in the world at 828 meters, and it has 163 stories. It also contains the elevator with the longest travel distance and the most floors of any buildings in the world. The outside observation deck of the halls, which is also the floor with the most people on it. Skidmore, Owings, and Morel, the same architectural firm that designed the Sears Tower in Chicago, which previously held the record for the highest structure in the world. It was responsible for the design of the Burj Khalifa. Adrian Smith oversaw the design team for the Burj Khalifa. Hyder Consulting was selected to serve as the project supervising engineer, and the NORR Group Consultants International Limited was selected to serve in the same capacity for the project's architecture supervision. The layout was inspired by the Islamic architecture that is found throughout the region, specifically that of the Great Mosque in Samarra. 
The Y-shaped tripartite floor geometry is intended to maximize the amount of space available for residential use as well as hotel use. The height of the structure is sustained by a central core that is buttressed in addition to wings. Although it was based in Tower Palace III, the Burj Khalifa's central core is where all the building's vertical transit is located, with the exception of the agra stairs that are located within each of the building's wings. Number 4. Hyperloop Dubai It has been proposed by the Hyperloop Dubai to build a high-speed train linked under the Arabian Sea to Mumbai which is a distance of 1,862 kilometers away. The train will cover the distance in two hours, which is equivalent to approximately 580 miles per hour. The trains will travel in tunnels just under the surface of the sea and be suspended from a network of floating rings. This means that now we can get seasick on a train. The Hyperloop will contribute to the reduction in amount of noise pollution. The speed of the Hyperloop in Dubai will be comparable to the speed of an airplane. It is estimated that maximum speed is 760 miles per hour, which is equivalent to around 1,123 kilometers per hour. It's possible that the average speed is between 500 and 600 miles per hour. Number 5. Burj Al Arab This sail-shaped edifice, which serves as the world's first hotel with a rating of 2-star, is located on its own artificial island and features 202 rooms with rates ranging from $2,000 to $24,000 per night. Atkins, a multidisciplinary consultant under the direction of architect Tom Wright, was responsible for the design of the Burj Al Arab. The construction and the design were both overseen by the Canadian engineer, Rick Gregory, who is also employed at W.S. Atkins. The development of the island first got underway in 1994, and at its height, there were as many as 2,000 people working on the construction. It was designed to look like the billowing spinnaker sail of a J-class yacht, and it was manufactured to do just that. Number 6. Dynamic Tower The dynamic tower that is 420 meters tall and has 80 stories all formed around a center column that enables each floor to rotate independently of others. Occupants will be able to choose the speed and direction of rotation, and it will take 90 minutes to complete a full rotation of 360 degrees. If you don't like the view from your hotel room, you can certainly change it. David Fisher, an architect, was going to construct a moving skyscraper that was going to be 420 meters tall and have 80 floors. However, the project was on hold. Its story is planned to rotate independently, resulting in a constantly shifting shape for the tower. This design was inspired by the Sweet Volart, which was finished in 2001 in Brazil. Number 7. Dubai Creek Construction is currently underway on Dubai Creek Tower. It is expected that Dubai Creek Towers will reach a height of 1,300 meters. The skyscraper will feature 10 viewing platforms, some of which will rotate offices, condos, restaurants, and sky gardens designed in the style of the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. People in Dubai, United Arab Emirates, referred to Dubai Creek as a natural salt water creek, tidal inlet, and water course or waterway. Dubai Creek is located in the city. It forms a natural harbor that has a history of being utilized for commerce and transportation, and it continues inland for approximately 9 kilometers. Number 8. Man-made Islands One of the most iconic things in Dubai 
are its man-made dialects, whether it's the palm trees, the globe map, or the newly developed seahorse island. These icons didn't come cheap, though. The palm tree islands alone cost over $12 billion to make. However, the creation of this has altered the natural floor of the wind, which in return has caused the tides to increase their pace of erosion in coastline. As a direct consequence of this, marine sediment deposits have migrated a distance of 40 kilometers in the span of five years. Palm Jamira, Dara Island, and Palm Double Alley are the three man-made islands that make up the Palm Islands, which are located off the coast of Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. A separate artificial island development proposal in Dubai known as The World was thought of around the same time as the Palm Island. These man-made islands were constructed by Nakil, a real estate development company. Number 9. Dubai Frame Dubai constructed the Dubai Frame, which resembles a picture frame. In order to display all that we have discussed thus far, this 150-meter-tall building was designed in such a way that when viewed from one side, modern-day Dubai can be seen, while when viewed from the other side, older, more traditional Dubai can be seen. This was done so that Dubai would not lose sight of its roots while preserving its modern-day identity. In Dubai's Zabul Park, you'll find the Observatory Museum and monument known as the Dubai Frame. It is a frame that currently holds the record for being the largest in the world. The building stands 150.4 meters tall and is 95.53 meters across at its widest point. Have you given any thought to paying a visit to this breathtaking location? Which one of this has your interest more than the others? Tell us about it in the comments below. In addition, please continue to show your support from my channel by hitting the like button and the notify button so that I can upload more movies just like this one. Also, if this is your first time visiting to my channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button as soon as possible. I'll see you at the next one.